Hello horror fans, and welcome back to Dredge. In the last episode we went ahead and explored more of the Pale Reach here, and we're going to continue that here today. I'm going to stop by here and get some fish to start with, just in case that narwhal becomes a problem. It did say we were able to feed it fish, basically. So, I want to make sure I have enough on hand, just in case. Alright, that should be enough fish. Today I am going to be smart enough to actually have my uh, net towed behind me, so that way I'm actually catching other things hopefully as I'm going along. Those are still the same basic fish. Alright, so I see the narwhal over there. First of all, can I banish it? Yes, I can. Alright, so that's good to know. Don't know how long the banish will last for. That is horrifying. Is this the location? Yes, this is the location I had wanted. Can I? No, it does not look like I can just plant a bomb there. All right, so the bomb is pretty much useless to me here. Good to know. So I'm going to go pretty much straight across this island area. We've got the bulbous toothfish. That is just disgusting. All right. That is not where I want to go. But this is the first time I've seen the narwhal just randomly uh, swimming about kind of thing. So that is something of note there. I right, need to go down further. Oh, here is some stuff to dredge. Not really needing wood, but I guess I'll take it for now. As long as I've got the space. Yeah, I really don't think I need any more wood. Alright, a goblin shark. I could have sworn we had caught one of those before. I'm going to station myself over on this island, I think, for the night. Luckily, I do have a storage here, so I can put some of this stuff into storage. Yeah, let's go ahead and put that into storage as well. We'll keep the fish here for now. I don't know exactly how they can help me, but hopefully I will find out. Right. We'll go with that. Let's go ahead and rest until the morning. So we have the goblin shark. I did see that. Alright.
so this is the way I need to go. And I can use the narwhal to help me here again. Perfect. Let's go ahead and use some of these uh, fish that are going to start rotting on us anyways. That should keep it satisfied, at least for a little while. That is true. And it'll allow me to get to where I'm wanting to go. There are things of interest over there, which I wish I could get to. have the other piece of the icebreaker here. Perfect. That's really what I wanted the most. Let's go ahead and dock here. Hopefully to put that in storage. Makeshift camp constructed in the shadow of Frozen Clawed Hand. Someone was taking these out. Let's look at the frozen equipment. There are very few pieces that still remain. Whoever made the camp was poorly prepared. Inside a small bag you found a leather-bound journal. Which entry do you want to read? The men spent the whole day digging. They passed up chunks of ice, some as brilliant as crystals, other of a deepest blue more beautiful than sapphires. But none held the glow we had seen in the night. However, I did note a disturbance in the ice to the west. It began as a periodic distant rumble. As the men dug deeper, the pulsing quickened, strengthening until I could see the ice shifting on the surface. I shall have to inform the captain. It may well be that that narwhal creature we saw earlier, though this did seem much larger. As I write this, I can already feel my eyes closing. It will have to wait until morning. This morning, the captain appeared out of the fog, rowing alone. Apparently, the boatswain remains at a camp in the east, waiting for nightfall. They were unsuccessful in their search, but it does make sense that lights would be more visible at night. Tomorrow we're to journey together to the west towards the shifting ice that I reported. We are alone on a small island of ice. After hours of rowing through channels, it rose through the fog, our gargantuan monstrous claw reaching from the deep. Whatever creature it once belonged to must be long dead as the claw is frozen solid. I wanted to turn back immediately, but the captain insisted we investigate. He is on edge, his head turning this way and that, listening for the slightest sound. He is convinced something will happen after dark. As the light, last light from the cold sun fades, I have the sense that it will be a long night. Alright. Natural spire of ice stands above the scraps. Node, over equipment, dark shape twists within. Voice calls out, distant and, distant and distorted. Trapped, forever. This prison, get me out. Break it, somehow, free me. Who are you? The navigator, find pa safe passage, chart the ice. It came from beyond. What happened? The digging, the cracked ice, like a web, awoke. The ice heart. I told him, whispers in the west, took the boat's way knees, returned alone. The dark fitter figure shudders, sending the vibrations through the ice. The next day, rode here. The captain saw the claws, gripped my soul. He insisted, made camp, shadow of the beast, waiting for the stars in the night. I saw his shape suddenly, swallowed by the cold in the dark. He left me, break it somehow, free me. All right, so we still need to get the thing to be able to break that. And really for that, we're gonna need the icebreaker. So, I'm going to head on out and hopefully go make the icebreaker, because that's what I really want to do.
think these are the ones I already have. Yeah, don't really need them. I'm speeding along a little bit here. Need to be careful not to hit into the ice and I can avoid it. Um, that sounded very ominous. Not the greatest thing in the world. Whoop. Pressed the wrong thing there. Hey, we got those. Perfect. Let me sell the fish. Then let's oh. head over here. Hmm. There we go. Oh. That's everything. Let me just warm my hands up a little, then I'll get started. Sweet. So I have equipped the icebreaker. All right, I think that should do it. The front of your ship can now break through chunks of ice. <laughs> Go ahead and test it out. I'll be watching from here. All right. Uh, sure. I mean, it's sort of the middle of the night, but let's test it out anyways. I think there was some ice right over here. Yeah. So it definitely works, which is great news. All right, let's head back here. Oh, I forgot to mention, just let me know if you want to temporarily remove the icebreaker. I can swap it out at any of my pontoons. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and sell some fish first. Just a basic fish there, yeah. so let's sell them all. Sounds good. Mm. Let's go ahead and repair that. I've been looking through the schematics we found before, and there are plans here for another device, too. They're for an ice shaper. That's different from your ice breaker, by the way. It's for cutting chunks of ice. If you find the missing device, I'll be able to use it to harvest the machine to harvest ice blocks for refrigeration. Mm. Blocks of ice can be packed into your cargo to slow fish spoilage. Pretty handy, right? Mm. That's what the missing ice shaper looks like. All right. Well, we can look at getting that easy enough. Notice also that the uh, icebreaker didn't take up any room, so that's a good thing. Alright, so I'm going to again empty my crab pots here. This is just a good way, I will say, of making some extra money. Um, just dropping a bunch of crab pots here. It does also get the uh, different crab you need uh, to complete that portion of a challenge for getting all the creatures in the area. But I do recommend it, just that way when you're out doing your tasks and stuff, they can be making you some money. And it's a great way of making that extra cash while you're doing other stuff. Hmm. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. As I said, I'm going to fish up the rest of my uh, crab pots. But then I'm going to go ahead and sleep a little bit so I stop being as crazy as I am. 
If you enjoyed what I did in this episode, though, please go ahead and click that like button. And if you've not already, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, so that you're aware when I produce new videos in the future. Thank you, and I hope to see you all again for more Dredge.